what are the principles behind the way BICOM Bioresonance Therapy works? To find that out, let's look at some very basic things. What is matter, actually? Matter originates when energy is compressed. In other words, matter is compressed energy. You see that a material particle is full of energy. And solid things like objects, but also the bodies of living things, are composed of millions of particles, which in turn are compressed energy. So matter has a twofold aspect, one part particle and one part radiation, meaning energy. The radiation has precedence over the particle and thus a decisive influence on structure. All matter, for example even one bacterium, a toxin, a nutritional foodstuff, has its own wavelengths and a frequency pattern of its own. What is the situation with material particles in the body, the cells? They transmit and receive waves with distinct frequency patterns. In other words, communication takes place. This forms the basis for the body's self-regulation. We could also compare this with a modern radio device. Information is exchanged via distinct frequencies. Back to the body. As long as cells are able to communicate with each other unhindered, meaning that the body's self-regulation is therefore intact, that body can be described as being healthy. Let's now imagine that an undesired substance manages to get into the body, for example, mercury, a pathogen or pollen. What happens? And to understand this, we're going to make a short excursion into hydrological research. Depending on age, the human body consists of 40 to 80 percent water. Water has the ability to form clusters and store information due to its dipolar properties. Let's take a look at a water molecule. Hydrogen has a weak positive charge, oxygen a weak negative charge. As a result of this dipolar nature, the molecules can combine with one another and form so-called clusters. If, for example, a harmful substance were to now penetrate the body, water clusters would form around that substance. These clusters have a highly differentiated structure depending on the substance. The various frequency patterns and the corresponding information emitted by that harmful substance are stored exactly within the cluster itself. Even when the actual information medium no longer exists, the cluster structure bearing the stamped information can continue to exist and have a disruptive effect on the body. What happens now when this harmful substance transmits a frequency pattern on the same wavelength as those cells? The substance's frequency patterns interfere with communication between the cells. They act as a jamming transmitter. The disruption of the exchange of information leads eventually to cell malfunctions. If that malfunction persists, it displays itself in physical symptoms and changes. So how does the BICOM device function? Let's start off with a diagnosis. With the help of the BICOM device, it can be determined which substance is causing disruption in the body. To do this, the frequency patterns of the presumably damaging substance are relayed to the patient's body via the device. With the help of a bioenergetic testing procedure, the electroacupuncture test for instance, it is determined whether the body resonates with that substance. In terms of the therapy, the following now occurs. The patient lays their hand on a metal plate, the so-called input electrode. Frequency patterns from the body are picked up by this electrode and relayed to the BICOM device via a cable. What is being dealt with here are both interference frequency patterns and physiological or healthy frequency patterns. By means of special electronics, the interference frequency patterns are separated from the healthy frequency patterns inside the device. The interference frequencies are inverted. The physiological, in other words healthy frequencies, are reinforced. These therapy frequency patterns are relayed into a so-called modulation mat lying flat against the patient's body. This mat contains a flat coil. As a result of the therapy frequency patterns, a unique highly effective magnetic field specific to the patient is created via this coil that penetrates into the cell's innermost regions. In bioresonance therapy, the clusters resonate with the therapy frequency patterns. 
The interference frequency patterns are diminished, the clusters split apart, toxins are drawn off and the strain inducing frequency patterns are dissipated. The cells are able to communicate unhindered again. Self-regulation and thus the body's powers to heal itself are put back into action once more.